So XRP is doing some interesting stuff going into today's FOMC meeting. And I want to talk about it a little bit. Now, we know that the fallout of FTX happened back in early November. Okay. And there was obviously a big price drop. Everything dropped. You know, XRP was one of those that suffered along with it. But XRP recently has gotten into this, I'll call it range of comfort. Okay. Right in that 38, 39 cent level. And we can see that playing out in the chart here. Really, the only times that it's been lower, you know, earlier in the chart, oh, where'd my mouse go? So down in here and down in here were, you know, shortly thereafter from the FTX fallout. Okay. Obviously this was right about that time. And then this right here, there was just more developments coming out about FTX's involvement with other, you know, big entities. So what is happening right now is that, you know, XRP has been consistent. It's been constant. And I've said before in videos that I think the big thing that is really going to move XRP is going to be the SEC case versus Ripple. That's that's the big thing. That's what all eyes are on right now. Now, normally, under normal circumstances, I would say that it really wouldn't move that much. But today and tomorrow may be a little bit different. These are the last two, I think, big macro factors for the 2022 year that may move XRP. We obviously have the conclusion of the FOMC meeting today. I think that's going to be early this afternoon. So probably shortly thereafter or shortly after watching this video, we're probably going to get some kind of indication as to what the next basis point hike is going to be. The market, like I've said in other videos, is projected for 50 basis points. Okay, this is after four consecutive periods of a 75 basis point hike. So this shows a little bit of easing from the Fed. Okay, this is obviously great. Now, Tomorrow, we're going to see the CPI data report. This is, you know, a, a very, very important one, okay? Because this is going to round out the whole year, show us what inflation did over the course of the whole year. And I'm expecting that we're probably going to see inflation falling again. And hopefully a half a percentage point. I'd love to see that. And that would be great for the whole market. So this may be the time where those are actually affecting XRP. And why I think this is the case if we look at, well, we can even look at the one month chart. Today, last 24 hours marks the first time that XRP transactional volume has crossed a billion dollars in December. Okay. <clears throat> We're two weeks into December. It's the very first time. It's been very quiet. There hasn't been much happening. This is despite having a jobs report a couple weeks back. And, you know, it's still more and more stuff happening with this this FTX situation, right? Obviously Sam Bankman fried is now in custody and all, and there's a hearing scheduled and all these sorts of things. I've kind of caught it in passing. I need to obviously dive into it a little bit more, get you guys some more information on that. But right now, all of crypto is gearing up for some sort of move, <clears throat> whether that be to the upside, the downside, we don't know. You know, there was a bit of a pullback over the last 48 hours. We'll say there was this big pullback right at the end of, uh, right at the end of the 11th, okay? And now it's started to rally back up. This is the same thing that all cryptos have done. So it's been very much tied to, to Bitcoin and, and the entirety of crypto charts, at least as of late. So what is going to happen today is kind of anybody's guess, but we just need to make sure that we're prepared because again, I think this is the last thing that is going to affect XRP for the year, unless for some reason there was a su surprise settlement or something like that. But just make sure you guys are prepared to be sitting, watching, waiting, just like you. But uh, hopefully we all enjoy the news that we get this afternoon. But hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I really hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.